when you're specking any uh, cooler first system, the first thing you want to do is um, determine the heat generation that's created by the system. So you look at the pumps, the motor, the engine, how much heat is actually being put off, how much in horsepower or BTU. After that is really when you want to start sizing the cooler. There's other factors you can look into the size of the reservoir. Uh, a lot of times on a mobile application, the reservoir will be very a lot smaller because you don't have the space claim. So you have to, to upsize the cooler to account for that because there's no dwell time of the oil. So you have to look at all your factors um, of what's heating the oil up, uh, what your maximum temperature is, what your ambient temperature is, where this thing will be used. If it's going to be on the desert, uh, you always want to work off the worst conditions. And then your limiting factor is your type of seals, um, the components you don't want to burn anything up. So those are the things you look at. Space claim is obviously very important too. Um, you know, it's easier to go with a bigger cooler to make sure you're on the safe side, but money and efficiencies are all considerations. You really don't want to undersize in the first place because it's always more difficult to get the coolers and make modifications for upsizing them. Um, so just really understanding the application, working with the customer, knowing what they want, understanding the components. Uh, like I said, dwell time in the tank is huge. Uh, usually you plan for about three times the volume of the pump. So if you have a 20 GPM pump, you want a 60 gallon tank so there's three minutes of dwell time for the oil to actually cool. Different types of coolers you really have uh, water cooled systems or air cooled systems. From water you can have a braised plate heat exchanger um, or tube and shell. Uh, those are used more in industrial application. The big thing is you have to have a water source. On a mobile application, most of the time you're going to see uh, air coolers. Um, the big air coolers we do are unique just because of the size of them. We're removing 40 to 50 horsepower of heat um, from a system, but we're using 40 horsepower AC three-phase motors to do it. So the coolers can be um, eight feet tall. Um, so just the size and the flow uh, of oil going through them. 